Hello, Leah here from Loop Digital, and today I'm going to show you how to create a color palette. So we're going to use my favorite color tool, Adobe Color CC, and I'll show you how to use it to create a color palette or a color scheme that works well together, and then you can use this in your branding, your website, or any other design project. Adobe Color CC is my favorite color tool. I use it for almost all of my projects. You can find it at color.adobe.com. So I'm on the explore page here looking at the most popular themes or the most popular colors of all time. And if you're choosing a color for your branding and you don't feel comfortable mixing and matching colors yourself, you can even just choose one that already exists here. There are so many beautiful color schemes on here. You can just browse and find one that you feel matches your brand or you can find one and use it as a base for creating a color scheme for your brand and you can modify it a bit and I'll show you some of my tips for modifying the color schemes on here. Um, but first remember when we looked at this Skype brand identity guide there was the two primary colors that Skype uses Skype blue and then a, a cool gray and then they have these kind of secondary colors it's a really great idea to separate your colors like this. You're probably going to want two color palettes. The primary color palette and then the secondary ones that you don't use in all of your branding. The reason that Skype does this is to keep it simple, to keep their designs very clean, and to make the, it a bit more memorable, the Skype blue and gray. If they use all of their colors in all of their branding and marketing, it would just be messy, overwhelming, and it wouldn't be as strong of a visual brand. So when choosing a color scheme for yourself, if you choose a color scheme that looks, let's see, if you choose a color scheme that looks like this one, say there's so many different colors here, you probably don't want to use all of these colors as your primary color scheme. So if you pick one like this with lots of different colors, that's probably going to be your full color palette. And then you can select one or two of the colors to be in your primary, to be your primary colors. If you pick a color scheme like this, say, with um, kind of a purpley color and then some neutral colors, something like that could be your primary color scheme. So you might want to create two color schemes in Adobe Color CC so that you have one for your primary colors and one for your secondary colors as well. So now I'm going to show you a few tips for modifying the color schemes. So let's pick one, let's do this one, London Underground. So we'll click Edit Copy. So this brings you to the color tool here and in the color tool we can click on a color, you can adjust the color by dragging these sliders here. You can see the RGB and the hex notations for the color. You can drag and drop any of the colors, moving them around. Um, this white arrow means this brown is set as the base color for this color palette but I'm going to set the blue as the base color. These color rules up here, these are color rules that we can change that will alter the color palette based on the color rule and it will do it based on whichever one is set as the base color. So let's say I don't really like this brown and I want to find a different color to go in this palette but I don't really know what else is going to go with this nice blue here. So I have this set as the base color and then I'm going to flip through some of these other color rules here and change the color palette and see if I see any other colors that I like. So in this color rule we have a nice purple, a nice green there I like. Let's keep flipping through. We can see there are different colors coming up, all colors that go nicely with this blue. So this is great if you don't really know how to pair colors very well. So let's take this green. I like this green. So what I'm going to do is copy the hex notation. 
So I've just pushed Control C to copy that. And then I'm going to go back and find the color palette again. And click Edit Copy. And then I'm going to just replace this one by pasting the hex notation there, pushing Enter. And there we have that nice green, which goes really nicely with the blue and the rest of the colors here. So there I've modified the color palette by adding a nice green into it and creating my own color palette that I can use. You can create an account with Adobe Color CC and then you can actually save the theme and name it and then you can browse it in your themes, you can browse all your different color palettes. I want to show you one more thing quickly and that is this Create From Image feature that Adobe Color CC has that's very cool. So you can select an image and Adobe Color CC creates a color palette for you based on the image that you've uploaded. So here we can see this is the default one that they've come up with, which is a really nice color palette. We can also change the mood of the color. So we've got a bright one, muted, deep, dark, and a custom one, which I think is where you can um, drag these around and select your own colors. So that's a very neat feature that comes in handy if you have a photo of yourself or a photo that you want to create that you want to design something around. You can have a color palette that matches the photo perfectly. So those are my tips for using Adobe Color CC. I encourage you to check it out, explore and see what things you can learn on your own with the tool.